Hey friends, in today's video, I explain the three basic types of contracts, fixed price, time and materials, and cost plus. And this is important because the contract type affects your risk of doing the job and how you price your bid. The first contract type is a firm fixed price contract. You'll bid a fixed price to complete a job. So let's say you bid $10,000 and you get awarded the contract. When the contract is over, you'll submit an invoice for $10,000. It doesn't matter whether it only cost you $5,000 to do the job or it cost you $15,000 to do the job. So these types of contracts carry the greatest risk, but can also be the most profitable for you. The second type of contract is time and materials. With the time and materials contract, you're paid for labor hours at fixed hourly billing rates. And the contract also covers the cost of materials. A labor hour contract is a variation of this where you're just supplying labor hours and not materials. So when bidding on one of these contracts, you'll bid a fixed hourly labor rate that covers both your cost and your profit. So let's say you bid a job at $100 an hour and you get awarded the contract. And then it takes you 50 hours to complete the work. Then you're gonna submit an invoice for $5,000. That's 50 hours times that $100 an hour. But typically in these contracts, you'll have multiple labor categories because you'll have lots of employees working on the contract. And you'll bid a different hourly billing rate for each labor category. A labor category is basically just our qualification level. So you might have labor categories, engineer one, engineer two, and engineer three, and you would have a different hourly billing rate for each one. The third type of contract is a cost reimbursement contract, also called a cost plus contract. In this type of contract, you get reimbursed for your allowable costs, including labor and materials and overhead, and in addition, you get paid a fee. The contract could be cost plus incentive fee or cost plus award fee or cost plus fits fee. But in any case, that additional fee is basically your profit for doing the job. This type of contract might sound great because you're basically guaranteed a profit, but the profit earned is usually low and the contract requires you to show your books and prove your actual costs, and that process can be quite time consuming. You'll find the contract type spelled out in the solicitation. So pay attention to that so you understand the risks involved when you're preparing your bid. Hey friends, this video is part of my series explaining contracting terms. If there's a term you'd like me to explain, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time.